In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between the 100 pack and the 90 pack and why you should choose either the 90 or the 100. So let's start with the most important thing, which is supercharger speed. So I analyzed the 90 pack and the 100 pack at supercharger speed. And uh, you see in this graph here that uh, they actually, they are kind of close somewhat. But you have to remember that we are comparing state of charge on different capacity here. So on the next graph, I adjusted for that, and you see the green bar there. That's where the, the 100 pack looks like compared to the 90 pack, and is actually a quite, quite faster, especially after about 75-80%. Uh, but you see, this graph doesn't tell you that much. You have to look at the actual numbers. So if you look at this table, you see that the difference is well, okay, it, in percent, it kind of sounds big, especially in the lower end, but it doesn't really matter in the lower end. So uh, even up to like 70%, we're only talking about three minutes. So it's not that big, but if you have to push it beyond 80%, 90%, but this is, of course, 90% on the 90 pack. But let's just say if you have to kind of charge a lot in case you live in like a cold climate or you have long distance between the superchargers or you just happen to pull trailer a lot then actually 100 pack charges much much faster uh, 13 minutes uh, on the long trip it adds up uh, but again okay as I mentioned the trailer I mean if you have good coverage of supercharger uh, then you know a 100 pack might not be that big of a deal for you anyway uh, because as for, for me in Norway, I can actually live with it uh, because we also have good uh, uh, Chodomo coverage. Uh, yes, by the way, I, I should also mention that. Uh, yes, uh, you see, uh, if you go back to the first graph here on the second graph, you see that towards the end, the 90 pack charges kind of slow, but um, in case you have to charge very far, uh, it's actually better to charge to only 80-85% and then stop and then top up at the Chalamo. Uh, as close like let's say uh, 100 kilometers or 50 kilometers from there but uh, this is usually when you have a trailer you pull something heavy or you have to I don't know drive through very cold climate uh, but um, yes so you know there are workarounds um, uh, why do I mention all this well because uh, uh, it also costs more to get the 100 pack uh, so for many of you, uh, in case you don't want to pay too much money or you don't drive too much, then I mean a 90 pack is okay if you have some workarounds. But if you want the best, then you have to go with a 100 pack because it charges faster. As for me, who pulls a lot of trailer, even in Norway, yes, okay, we have good coverage, but um, I will hopefully most likely get the upgrade in exchange of some uh, power walls. Uh, but yes, for me, and also it's not only for, for the fastest charging speed, but I also want to test other aspects of that uh, power pack, uh, sorry, the, the, the battery pack. So, um, uh, but there are also some other advantages with uh, the 100 pack, because uh, the 100 pack has a different design on the cooling. So it's supposed to be, have better cooling. Um, and But I, when I look at the supercharger speed, yes, it is pretty impressive it cools you know you have really high output throughout the whole span uh, but I also wonder if um, for people who even live in Germany pretty much if that also helps for high speed driving let's say over 200 kilometers per hour 125 miles per hour I haven't tested yet I, I hope I can test it one day to see how big of a difference it is but um, if you do a lot of acceleration and regen, then what heats overheats, it's not the battery, it's mainly the, the stator um, in, in the motor. So, you know, the 100 and the 90, they use the same uh, motors, so that's not gonna make any difference. Uh, but, of course, uh, the, the bigger battery pack has more energy and can output more, and also what is very important is that when you accelerate, let's say from uh, 100 kilometers per hour to 200, 150, uh, you will have less voltage drop on a bigger barrier pack. Uh, that's again makes sense in those countries where you can drive slightly faster or yeah, uh, because you know zero to 100 times is already useful if you want a drag race or do like, a, I don't know, whatever, show off. 
but uh, in real world, what ha what really matters is the acceleration from about uh, 80 kilometers per hour, 50 miles per hour to 120, 150 when you want to overtake or something. Then yes, the bigger battery pack is better. Uh, I already seen the difference between uh, the 85 and the 90 pack, even though that difference is quite small. So I would imagine that the difference between you know the 100 and the 90 is even bigger. Because uh, also the 100 pack has significantly more energy than the, the, the 90 pack. The 90 is supposed to have about 81. Okay, the, you know, the, I don't trust the BMS. Uh, was people have been reporting that they can pull about 81 kilowatt hour from it. Uh, so that's about 90% of that pack. But the 100 pack is supposed to have about 95 I haven't tested yet but let's let's say okay about 95 so it's actually very it's 95 percent of that hundred pack so it's really bigger percentage uh, that's always very good uh, so um, should you buy the 90 pack or the hundred pack well um, uh, to you who uh, let's say have 85 or 70 or don't have a Tesla and you want to buy a new car well for now you can only buy a hundred pack uh, if you want a brand new car uh, but you might be looking at uh, a second hand 90 versus a hundred I've seen some posts about it uh, so uh, yes as I mentioned before you have to consider all these factors like uh, do you drive a lot do you need that extra power um, as for as for degradation well if you drive a lot then a bigger battery pack will have less degradation because you 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 use less cycles to drive the same distance. Um, but if you don't drive a lot, then I actually think it doesn't matter that much because batteries also age over time. Uh, yeah, uh, but if you already have a 90 and you consider upgrading to 100, um, there are two ways. Uh, one way is to upgrade the battery, but uh, I think that will take some time and also it will cost a lot of money. So um, um, most likely it's a much better deal for you to sell the 90 and get the 100 instead. Uh, but as for me, because I have like this rare case where okay, I won the car and it, the Optimus Prime is kind of special. It's a P90D Ludicrous. Um, I don't want to, I could sell the car and buy a new one, but I, I kind of feel like it's a special car. So I want to keep it as long as possible. I, I will actually skip AP2. I will probably wait for AP3 or something in a couple of years. So I don't need to change car every year or something. Um, so for me, yes, I want the upgrade, but I mean, I want to actually physically change the battery. But for most other people, yeah, sell that car, buy a new one. Uh, you might also, you know, your existing car might have AP1 and you want the AP2. So that's always a good deal. Yeah. Um, so, but again, you know, some of these uh, things I mentioned are just assumptions based on previous uh, experience with the other cars. So, uh, before I can say anything like uh, 100%, you know, I have to test the 100 car. I've tested it a little bit. I did a test run, uh, pull uh, some stuff. I, I put my own trailer. I used, I tested the, the Model X P100D Ludicrous. It was freaking crazy. Now that one actually had, um, if I remember correctly, it had studless winter tires on. But still, at 60 km per hour, when I hammer it, I floor it, the wheel spun 60 km per hour, that's about 40 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, so it is crazy. The 100 pack, uh, if you are, okay, so if you can afford it, get it. If not, then the 90 pack is still not a, a big, a, like, too far behind. But there was one thing, a little but here towards the end. Um, the 90 pack, what well, we have seen in the 90 pack, uh, if you DC fast charge too much, too much you get this um, uh, supercharger speed limitation. And we don't know if the 100 pack gets it or not. Uh, yeah, we don't know. I mean, why is it a limitation? Is it because of uh, cool, limited cooling in the 90 pack? We don't know. Uh, but uh, it's still too early. But so, if the hundred pack does not have the limit and the ninety pack has it, then of course eventually the ninety pack will be limited, and then the difference is a lot bigger than I first shown you. So, um, uh, but if the hundred pack also get the limit, then they are kind of even, you know. But it's still too early to say. 
uh, yeah. Uh, but there's also one other thing I I noticed with the 90 pack, and that is that you know the fast speed you get. You, you we, okay. Let's go back to this graph. Uh, the the lines you see here are not the same every time you charge. Uh, even though all the conditions are met, you know, you don't share charge with anyone, the battery is warm, everything, you know. Um, this is not something I've seen in the 85 pack, but in the 90 pack, uh, the length of the charging session also plays a role here. Because if you arrive with a low state of charge and your charging session is very long, let's say 45 minutes to an hour, then towards the end, you get slow charging speed. So actually, you see here the red line here. Towards the end, at 80 kilo, I mean at 80 percent, you start dipping below uh, 40 kilowatt. But that was if you arrive at almost empty or whatever. But with the 90 pack, if you arrive at with let's say 50 percent, then it's like it's like um it's like a it's like I don't know. Uh, it has like an amount of supercharging you can take, you know, and then it kind of gets full. So um, in that case, if you ride there with a lot of uh, juice left and you start charging and the charging session is uh, shorter, then towards the end you get higher uh, speed at the high end. So uh, I don't remember exactly the number, but let's say at 80% you actually receive like 50 kilowatt instead of 40. And I have seen the same thing with the 100 pack, which was a little bit surprising. Uh, because I, I thought that it had something to do with cooling. Uh, so yes, we are, it's a little bit too advanced now, but um, uh, why do I say this? Well, um, we don't know yet about how the 100 pack works. It's still kind of early and I haven't gotten my hands on it and done some testing or whatever and drive around with it. But um, uh, it... It also means that um, the 100 pack might also have some limitation. You also see in the graph here that, uh, I don't know why, but for some some strange reason, uh, from around 15% um, up to 60%, uh, the charging speed is fixed at 110 kilowatt. Uh, it's like a cap there. It's like it's been clipped. It seems like it could go higher, but for some reason, it doesn't. I mean, it would be great to see like 130 kilowatt or some crazy stuff we have never seen before. Uh, because you see that on the red graph, it gradually goes up, builds up, and then slows down. So, um, so uh, yes, uh, over the updates, Tesla could change how the, the supercharging speed on the 100 pack works. And they could also change the 90. They have actually done it several times already. So, um, but uh, yeah, so that's a lot to talk about batteries. Um, I think that's it for now. So I hope this was useful for you uh, in the case of uh, you know, deciding whether to go for a 100 or a 90 pack. Yeah. So anyway, um, if you like my content and you want to support me, then please check out my Patreon link. Uh, add any help and any money will help. Even $1 will be, be very useful. So yes, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.